So I've been having some problems with ice cream scoops of late. I know, yeah, terrible isn't it? Um, I've got a bit of a taste for ice cream so I bought a scoop. And of course I thought, well I'll get one that's pretty sturdy. I mean look at the chunkiness of the metal on that. But uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a problem with it. The two parts you see, because you've got a, a slightly rubbery gripped plastic handle um, which is great for grabbing on things when you've been in the freezer in order to pull something out. But you leave the ice cream out for a couple of minutes to let it um, soften a little bit. The trouble here is that that is right where you have the grip. It's right where you're going to lever things out. And of course the metal tang of the spoon there is finishes right on the grip. So yeah, as soon as you try and leave anything out, it snapped off. So that was pretty poor. Um, but I thought, oh, okay, all right. Um, I was probably a little bit heavy-handed with it. Don't me, don't know my own strength from time to time. So um, not binned it yet, but it soon will be. So I bought another one and uh, went with a solid metal handle because there's no way you can fracture a solid metal handle, can you? No, no, of course you can't. But what you can end up doing is um, where there's a weak point, you can have a problem. And I didn't notice it at the time I bought it, but the metal gets a little narrower right on the point where it's going to lever. So this just easily bends backwards and forwards at that point and eventually it's going to fatigue and snap off. Um, so yeah, you go to put it in for the uh, for the scoop and it just bends back, um, which is no good. I mean, it's soft scoop ice cream I'm using. It's not you know the hard premium stuff. And I do leave it before I... Uh, take a bite out of it with these things but uh, yeah I thought you know that's a really solid spoon with a nice kink in it there to give it some strength but um, no it, um, it's just that little bit just that little bit narrower at the point at which you uh, enter the handle there so that's the, uh, that's the end of that one so there's another few quid down the drain, but uh, that'll go as metal recycling, at least, when it breaks. So what am I going to do? Well, four times the price, but this is practically hollowed out of solid metal. Um, it's very, uh, very difficult to break this sort of thing. It's a um, commercial one, commercial scoop. Um, there's actually uh, it's actually a hollow handle, but there's a heat conducting fluid in there, which means that if you put this in warm water, or if, even if you just hold it with your hand for a bit before you start, it means that it never has a problem scooping through ice cream. That might look thick there, but it's actually very thin. Um, as you can see, I can get my the scoop through my fingers there, uh, but it is uh, milled out there, and absolutely brilliant. And I probably should have spent my money on something like this in the first place. But you kind of think a couple of quid for the other ones. This one, tens of pounds, uh, but um, it'll last. It'll last um, as long as I can probably stand it. Bit of a shame on the other two there, you know. Um, a few quid from Sainsbury's. A few quid from Sainsbury's. Um, but uh, it's not Sainsbury's problem, these are uh, on sale all over the shop. Uh, and they're all very similarly limited in the amount of force you can apply to them. But, you know, scooping ice cream is a fairly hefty job. Pity. Well, that's another whinge for today. Cheers now.